Yo, Jay Blanked here. This is the BW16. It is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz board um, that can work on the Flipper Zero. And if you flash it with Flipper HTTP, you can pen test your own network by sending the off attacks. And you can also use the other Flipper HTTP apps such as Flip Social, which is the Flipper Zero social network. Uh, there's Flip Downloader, which allows you to download other Flipper apps and assets. And as of last week, there's Flip Telegram, which allows you to send and receive Telegram messages directly from your Flipper. Today, I'll show you how to get Flipper HTTP installed on your BW16 step by step. So whether you just want to connect to your five gigahertz network so you can use Flipper HTTP, or if you want to do advanced pen testing, follow along. Okay, so just quickly, Flipper HTTP is a library that was meant for the Wi-Fi developer board by Flipper devices. And then throughout the last few months, there has been added support for almost 15 boards, including the one we are flashing today, the BW16. Now, there has been a lot of confusion about what the BW16 is and what firmware you can use and what it can do. Well, today we'll fully unlock it by flashing my Flipper HTTP firmware. Now, the installation steps are a little different than the Wi-Fi developer board and the other ESP32 devices. So follow along step by step. Okay, so let's talk about what BW16 board you should actually get. There are a few options out there, but there is a specific one that will not work. And that is this one right here. The issue with this board is that it's already pre-soldered and unfortunately it uses the incorrect pins. So it's incompatible with Flipper HTTP. So definitely stay away from any boards that already have Flipper Zero headers on them, which includes any knockoffs of that board like this one. So the one I got is from AliExpress and this was a few months ago, but you want the one that says BW16 Kit Type C. I know it doesn't look like it in the image, but it does come with headers installed on the board already. So for the wiring, you can scroll down to the bottom of the Flipper HTTP GitHub and you'll see the wiring right here for the BW16. Now you need the common 3v3 in your ground pins, but we'll be using the Serial 1 TX pin and the Serial 1 RX pin instead of Serial 0. So keep in mind the wiring because there isn't any Flipper Zero boards yet that use the correct wiring. So you need to either solder or just get four jumper wires and connect the pins directly to your Flipper Zero. Okay, so for clarity, the TX pin is four pins from the left. So if we're looking at it this way again, the TX pin is four pins from the left. So one, two, three, four, that's PB1. And the RX pin is right beside it or five pins from the left. So one, two, three, four, five. I know my fingers are big, five pins from the left. Oh, and the 3v3 pin is the second pin from the left here. It literally says 3v3, just really hard to see. It's extremely small, 3v3. And for the ground, I'm actually using the last pin there, which is the ground. And if I'm not mistaken, that lines up perfectly because the last pin on the flipper is the ground and the last pin on here uh, is also the ground. So when we put it in, we have that. Okay, so if you would rather just see a written guide, you need to go to the Flipper HTTP GitHub, which I have a link in the description. You need to scroll down and click on the development.md file. And this goes over all the steps to installing Flipper HTTP's firmware, which is required to get the BW16 flashed with Flipper HTTP. Okay, so let's go through these step by step. Now, first you need to install Arduino IDE. You can click the link here in the development guide or you can just type in Arduino IDE download and it will literally take you to the same page. 
Next step, you need to download the entire Flipper HTTP repository. Hover over where it says code and then click download zip. Okay, now we need to unzip the file. You can just double click on it and it will unzip. Now inside of here, we need to change the folder named SRC or source to flipper dash HTTP and then hit enter. And now within that flipper HTTP folder, we can double click the flipper HTTP dot Eno and that will open it up in Arduino IDE. Okay, now for step number four, we need to copy and paste this entire line inside of our preferences or settings, and it goes in the additional boards manager URLs field. So on the development doc, just click copy and then go back inside of Arduino IDE. Um, next, go up to file or Arduino IDE and then click settings. And now right where it says additional boards manager URLs, you can just paste that entire link and then just go and click OK. OK, now in step five, we're going to install different packages within the boards manager. So back in Arduino IDE, you click this little icon here. And now the first one we need to type in is RP2040. Scroll down and make sure you get the one from Errol Philheimer, which is this one, Errol Phil Hauer, I'm sorry, which is this one here. Okay, there we go, Errol Phil Hauer. Um, and then after that, we need to install the one called ESP32. Um, and this one is by Espressive System. So I need to install that. And now lastly, we need the real tech and you want to install the Realtek Amoeba Boards 32 bits ARM Cortex, which is a package by Realtek. It might also say Amoeba AIoT. Okay, now we need to install some more packages, but this time we're in the Library Manager. So go back to your Arduino IDE and click the library symbol. It's like a bunch of books. Uh, first, we want to type in TFT underscore eSpy and install the TFT eSpy library by Bodmer. After that, we need to install the Arduino JSON library and install the one by Ben Blanchon. Okay, now after that, we need to search for Arduino HTTP client and install the Arduino HTTP client by Arduino. Okay, and then our very last one, we need to search for flash storage and we need to install the flash storage RTL 8720 by Koi Hang. Uh, let's see, here we go. Flash storage RTL8720 by Koi Hank. Hong. Okay, I know that was a lot, so make sure to refer back to the development guide in case you get lost. All right, next step is the simplest so far. All you have to do is restart Arduino IDE. You can just close it and then open it right back up. And now we're ready for step eight. Okay, now for step eight, we're connecting the BW16 to our computer so that we can flash the firmware. So you need to have a USB-C data cable. It's very important that it supports data. Otherwise, you won't be able to flash this over via USB to your board. So first, plug in the USB-C data cable to your computer. And then we're going to plug it into our BW16 while we're holding the burn button or the boot button. Now, that button is the right button. If the USB-C port is facing down, we're gonna want to hold the right button here. And then while we're doing so, we're going to plug in our USB-C cable like so, and just like that. And then once it's there, you can let go. Okay, we're almost finished. All we're literally gonna do is select the board and then flash the firmware right over. You can do this in two ways. You could go and click select board here, or you can go and click on tools, 
and then go and click board. And then the one we want to choose is AI Thinker BW16. So click that. Now we'll go and make sure that we are on the right serial port. It's usually the one that says cu.usb serial. You might have to type in the AI Thinker board again and then click OK. And since we're here for the BW16, you can skip over step 11. That is just for those who are compiling or developing for the PicoCalc. So back inside of Arduino IDE, we want to go and click on the tools menu again. Um, and now what we're going to do is change where it says auto flash mode to enable and then go back and we need to change where it says upload speed to 921 600. Okay, and then for our very, very last step, all you have to do is click upload. Oh, but we forgot one last thing, which I'll update the notes, is go to where it says boards.hpp and you need to uncomment the board BW16 define. And now when you go and click upload, now it will compile the right libraries over to your BW16. You might get a few warning messages, but you can ignore those. So give it a bit and let it finish uploading. Do not unplug it until it is done. And just like that, we're done. You've officially flashed Flipper HTTP onto your BW16. Okay, now you finally got Flipper HTTP flashed onto your BW16. Now let's go over the apps. So go to lab.flipper.net, go and click on apps, and now type in the app Flip Wi Fi. Click on it. Make sure your Flipper is connected. And then after that, click on install, or if you have the app before, click on update. And the next app you're gonna need is the Flipper HTTP companion app. So just type in Flipper HTTP, click on Flipper HTTP, and then click on install. Okay, so if you just wanna go straight into pen testing your own Wi-Fi, click the center button, go to apps, scroll down to GPIO, and then click on Flip Wi-Fi. Within the Flip Wi-Fi app, you can scan for networks, you can deauthenticate your own network for pen testing, you can do captive portals, which is a great way to interact with the board. You can also send commands just to make sure that your board is responding. Now, if you want to use the Flipper HTTP apps within that same GPIO folder, go and click on Flipper HTTP. Now you'll go down into your settings. Um, now you need to type in your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password. Now, since we're on the BW16, we can use our five gigahertz network. And then after that, you want to also type in a unique username and unique password. These fields are used in apps like Flip Social and the multiplayer game Flip World and Free Roam. So make sure it is rememberable and unique to you. And then after that, you are all set. You can go up and click run. Then you can go and scan for networks again. You can connect to your network or you can check the status of your network. Well, just like that, that's how you get Flipper HTTP on your BW16. For more Flipper Zero tutorials or tips, or for news about the upcoming Flipper One, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any issues at all, please hit me up on Discord. That is the fastest place to reach me and to get help. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.